Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle and I'm here today with my very first official design team project for Diamond Dyes. Um, I decided to make a mini album and I used the die here. Super, super cute. Now this one is called the Diamond Rose and you actually get two different petal sizes and I used um, I believe I used both. I used the large one on the front cover and then I used the smaller one on the inside, which you will see. And I used it in a couple of different ways. And I also used it with some wild orchid craft flowers to show you guys, you know, that you can mix and mingle your other flowers and stuff and they just go perfectly. And, um, you know, these dyes you can customize to any, uh, any color or, uh, you know, in different shapes that you want, as you will see in my mini album that I created. So, move this out of the way, and I'm going to show you the little album that I made. It's so, so cute. I just love the way that it turned out. So, here it is. Super, super cute. I used some papers from Authentic, and it's a collection that they have that's geared towards grandmothers and grandfathers, and I just love this paper. So, um, this is going to be a envelope mini album, and the front and the back cover are made out of chipboard, and then I just covered it with the paper. Um, these are some of the cutouts, the title is some of the cutouts from the paper that you can cut out. This little flower here is a little prima flower, and then I just put a little bit of bling in there. This beautiful flower here is made with the diamond dye, diamond rose. This is the larger style. And then these are wild orchid craft flowers on the side. So as you can see, they really, really go really, really pretty with, you know, your flowers from the other companies as well. Then I used some just some greenery to put on here. And then this is one of the doilies back behind here from the paper bag lady. Love, love, love it. Then I tied it off with a bunch of beautiful ribbon on the side. And then I have a little charm over here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it real close. Hopefully you will. But it's got like a little angel on it and just some beads hanging off the side. So then you open it up. And this is the inside. Super, super cute. So, over here we have a pocket. And then um, there's a, pay, or a place right here for a picture. This is one of the diamond dies. The diamond rose again. And this I did it a different way. It's a little more flatter for those of you who may not like to mention. Um, and um, I did, you know, give it just a little bit dimension. But you can always use it flat, flat if you want to. But um, I just doubled it up, and there's one behind there, and then the pink one on top. And then just put a brad through it, and then put some greenery. Um, this word treasured comes from the paper collection, and then this pulls out, and you have room for photos or journaling. Then over on this side is another pocket with the tag, and the tag will pull out, just like so. So, I'm going to leave that in there. And then, again, I have another one of the diamond dies here. The diamond rose with some more greenery. Did it a little more flat. And then these are part of the paper collection. And I matted them on the back so you can use them for uh, pictures or journaling. And then there's another one there. So, then we go to the next page. And over here we have a place for a photo, and then this is part of the um, cutouts again, and it says warm hugs. These little buttons I cut um, with my sewing room die, and I cut them out of some wood, like um, wood veneer stuff like that I got, I think at Hobby Lobby, so really, really cute. I just tied it off with DMC floss. Um, these are some uh, banner dies here that I have from another company. And you have the word memories that I stamped out with a Stampin' Up or Stampin' Up stamp set, and then I had the punch that matches that uh, cuts out the letters. So I cut the letters out with the punch, and then um, 
I just tied some floss up there. So really, really cute. Um, then over here we have another pocket, some more of those little wood veneer buttons that I made. And again, these pull out and you have picture or space for pictures or journaling. And then we have another tag here. I'm not going to pull all the tags out because it's basically the same. Then here we have a little flip page. This here is doily die that I have. Um, this flips up and it's part of the uh, cutouts as well. And this cherished as part of the cutouts. Popped it up on pop dots. Use a little doily die there. Um, this is uh, some of the little flowers that you get in the um, dollar section at Michael's. I put that on there. And then this just flips up and you have room for journaling or pictures and then another piece of the paper that I cut out called that says sweet. Put it on some pop dots and then I left it where I could just slide the picture in there. So super cute. Then on here we have another pocket tag page. The tag's here and then um, these just slide out and again you have room for journaling and pictures. And these are, again are some more of the cutouts from the paper collection. I just love this paper collection. It's super super pretty. And I think there's only like four sheets to the whole collection. So not a whole lot of papers to choose from but oh they work so well together. So so pretty. So then we're to the last to the back pages. And here again we have another pocket page and here's where I use the diamond dye, diamond rose again. Um, again, I used it flatter and I put some of the greenery there and put a little uh, brad in the middle. And then I have some tags here, some journaling or picture, um, another cutout, and then some more pictures and journaling. So, just set these to the side. And then this is the back page, and again, I have room for another uh, photo spot. And then you have the word here that I cut out, again, where I use the diamond dye, diamond rose. And um, I use some of the Martha Stewart border punches there for the lace. This here is some of the paper that uh, you can cut out and use as border strips. And then you have a space for photos or for journaling. So that is it, and then there's the back. So super, 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 super cute. Um, again, this is the die that I used. Get this out of the way. And it is called the Diamond Rose, and they have a Etsy shop up right now. Um, they are in the process of getting their website. Uh, complete but for the time being they have an Etsy shop and I will have all of the information down below to where you can check this out I believe the die retails for $12.99 plus shipping um, and like I said you know you can see the different ways where I use the die and stuff so super super cute die um, this is the pre-launch of their first die they have not made their official launch of their company yet they're hoping to do so within the next month or so um i just made a video as well um regarding that they are looking for some new design team members they're looking for i think a couple new design team members to join the team um and i will have a link to that video down below too and um I hope you guys liked my project. I thought it turned out really, really cute. I was super happy with the way that it turned out. So, I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.